Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, since it's after Christmas and I didn't really get any camping gear for Christmas, but I bought camping gear with Christmas money. And so I just wanted to show you some of it. Um, it's really not much. I just went to REI and got some things. But first I got this camping like cookware kit thing. It's that it comes with. Um, I got a tank, like a little gas canister thing with it the fuel for it but that i decided to keep in the garage so uh, not bringing it, bringing it in um yeah i guess i'll just show you this it's actually pretty nice it's nice and compactable because what you can do is you know how it's like if i would probably stuff with this with some stuff in it but it comes with a 16 ounce pot as the smaller upper pot it's like a uh, aluminum it's very light lightweight so if you're ultra light camping or backpacking i guess this would be nice for the weight i don't really care too much about weight because most of the time my weight's going to be pretty low um this bigger pot is about a 30 33 ounce pot it's got a wider lip around the edge so this pot can basically how small it is they're about the same size and width but because of the upper um lip it kind of just holds it in place um and then we have the stove itself the stove itself is pretty nice it comes in this little bag to keep it protected um which is really nice so it compacts it's really small really nice you have the fuel gauge right there so you can control how much fuel actually goes into it um and each little piece just pops out like that and they lock into place really nice there's about four to keep your pot balance like i don't really have a flasher oh wait i actually kind of say it's on its own can't really to hold it but you see how it does. yeah it doesn't really sit very well on its own oh there we go so i can just cook things on it like heat up water instead of having to like actually create a fire and stuff and this red button is the lighter for it so i don't have to get a lighter and risk burning myself or anything like that i just pop it on the canister open it up a little bit not too much just a light little fuel and then it lights the whole burner there so it gets pretty nice so it's pretty easy to compact down as well and i like how nice and small it is and not having, like, if I was camping out there and I didn't really care about doing a fire because, like, let's say it's, like, in the middle of the summer or something. But I wanted to cook something for dinner. Just nice, easy. And since this fits into here really easily, I can keep it nice and protected. Now, the pot itself, um, the fuel canister can actually fit inside of it so the fuel canister sits in this you put this on top of the fuel canister and if you have like cooking like a little uh, spork or something you can go on the top and i'll probably like if i was actually going backpacking or something if i needed to pack an extra pair of socks i'll probably pack them into here because it would just be nice and easy for me um so yeah it's just it's nice compactable and it comes with a little mesh bag to keep it and to keep it protected from not getting scratched up um i also got a beanie from rei i decided to because i just wanted like a beanie or something i got a jacket uh, like a, a down jacket i think is what it was it's it's like a, a puffy jacket basically but it's, it's very light and nice and I just needed something to keep me warm in general during the winter time because 
I don't have any jackets like that. The only jackets that I have are like hoodies, like sweatshirts, which don't keep you that warm, and um, the wool jackets. It, do it doesn't even have a hood on it. Uh, and a rain jacket, or like a um, breaker. Uh, and then I got this free dry food. I got, it's the Mexican style chicken. It's a two portion meal. So if I do that with me and Ridge, when we camp out, we would split this up and eat it instead of having to eat like hot dogs or something down there. Um, I also got a freeze dried three mac and cheese. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and so basically, that I think is also a two person meal. And then I also got a uh, freeze dried ice cream sandwich. Now, I also got a zip line for Christmas. And so I decided to set that up today. And how I set it up was the slack line was very low. So we were pretty close to the ground, but we didn't hit the ground. And there was a thorn vine. And I ran right into it, so I got a pretty nasty scar from that. Not very great. And Grant was trying it out as well right after me. I don't know why I decided to do it right after I hurt myself. And he was going down and normally I'm supposed to sit on the seat, but I didn't have a wrench with me. And so I decided to screw it, not do it without the seat because I could just use my feet to sit myself if I really didn't want to like go that fast. But he was going full speed down it, and I think we had it too slanted at, at an angle to the point where when he hit the spring at the end, it jerked him up and he fell and he landed on his arm really hard. So that was not very pretty for both of us. Um, Rich, luckily the smart one, didn't go on it. <laughs> and, um, but tomorrow, I'll probably fix it, raise it up higher. Hopefully, my scabs and stuff will be healed. But Christmas was... I got a pretty good... Like... Bunch of things. I got some... Some nice comfy socks. Final record. I got a racing simulator in the basement, so I might make some videos on that. Some gaming videos. Um... Because I can... We're trying... We... Today, we tried to hook up the Oculus to it. So you're, like, actually, like virtual reality like driving and stuff but the only issue is the game was like really glitchy um through the oculus and so it wasn't the wi-fi nor was it the game itself we were thinking it was the i was thinking it's the oculus my dad thinking he was thinking that it was like the port for it but it's just really glitchy. But I'll try to make some content videos on that. Hopefully I can try to like screen record or something on it. And so you can like see my perspective of it and the game perspective. I don't know, it'll just be fun to do. Because I'm actually really good at the game for some reason. But it's, it's mainly because we have like a driving assist on. So like you can basically when you're driving, you're just press on the gas the whole entire time because it just automatically breaks for you and it has like these guidelines stuff so you know where you're going you could take off the assist stuff and actually like race but yeah that's basically all i was really wanting to show you guys and my simple video other than that